Good morning, everyone. We're continuing here in the laws of Kashrus of Rabbi Yom Forst, and today he speaks about Kashring Din Klizuchuchis glass vessels. Gam Din Klizuchuchis La Nizbar Torah. The Torah does not explain the Kashring details of glass. Yesh Seivim Shezuchuchis in Sicha Agola. There are those who hold that Zechuchi's glass does not require Hagala being immersed in boiling water. And all you need to do is rinse it off because glass is smooth and hard. And therefore, if you cooked even something hot onto the glass, it does not get absorbed in the walls of this clean. Amnam, however, yesh oimim shedin zechuchis kedin mateches. There are those who say that glass is like metal, shabaylas, and it does absorb whatever's on it that's hot. Achshiras ba'agala, and therefore the only way to kash it is by putting it into boiling water. But yesh oimim shedin zechuchis kecheres, and there are those who say no, glass is like earthenware. Keva shezechuchis netzeres mechol, because if you if you know the way that glass is made, it's really produced out of sand. Kemoy cheres, just like earthenware. And then you wouldn't be able to kash it at all. L'shit is zuach reyna. According to this last opinion, e'en hech shalichli zuchuchis kemoy she'en hech shalichli cheres. Just like you cannot kash your earthenware, you can't kash it this either. Now, what is the minag? Minag b'nei Ashkenaz lahachmir keshit ha'ach reyna. The minag of, of, of uh, Ashkenazi Jewry is to be machmir, to be strict, like the last opinion over here that it's like earthenware, when it comes to kashering your glass vessels for Pesach, we say it's like earthenware, you can't kasher them, put them away. However, when it comes to kashering them from other things, like during the year, let's say that some treif got onto it, or it was a fleshig a glass plate and hot milk has got on there, then you could kasher it, says Rav Forst. And we'll see later on which koshering method you're supposed to use. Amnam roi b'nei svard. However, in the svardi customs, noigim she'en kli zuchuchis v'chim hechsher af lepesach, he holds that kli zuchuchis, that a glass, uh, vessels and the like, don't need any hechshering, koshering at all. Even for the Yom Tov of Pesach, which is more machmeran, even there you don't have to. According to the halachic authorities who hold, that glass doesn't need any kashring. You can go and buy glass vessels, old used ones from non-Jews. Just rinse them off and clean them off very good. And then you could use them however you want. Of course, he writes, after you put them in the mikvah for tevila, without any uh, kashering method in hot boiling water. There are those who are further accustomed. They use glass uh, vessels for hot milk. Your coffee mug, glass coffee mug, where you pour hot milk in there to make your latte. And then you clean it off, and then you bring it later for your dinner meal of spaghetti and meatballs, you're having fleshigs. So in the morning you had your coffee in there, and then now you're having your fleshigs, and then no problem, according to that opinion. However, there are those who hold that if you buy glass vessels from a non-Jew, you do need to kasher them. And if there are those who say also, you the best thing is to have separate glass dishes. You should not use the same glass dishes for chalavi, for milk, and for meat. They should be separate. However, which means post facto, if it happened, that the glass vessel became trafed up. For example, you have your milk cup that you use for your hot milk, and then later that day you ended up using it for your hot soup. So even though that you should have two separate ones, you and with the question what kind of material this really is, you can still kosher it. Kozel ashkenaz, that's all according to Ashkenazim. 
אבל בני סבר, בני קומס לסברדים, מותר להשתמש בחיזו חוכיס לבשר גם לחולב, they can use the same vessel, that's glass, for meat and for milk, אם משפשפים ומדיחים בין שימוש לשימוש, as long as they wash it off good, between one usage and the other. So they have their glass of hot milk in the morning, they clean out the glass very well, and they put their cup of soup in there in the afternoon for lunch or for dinner, not a problem for the svardim. Now we'll have to see, according to the B'nai Ashkenaz, how it is exactly that we're, we're going to kasher the glass vessel that Be'ez Hashem will see tomorrow. Have a wonderful day.